G'day guys, Hector back again, doing a, um, I won't say quick, but it's going to be possibly a long video on a new motive from silverdrone.com. Uh, it's the ZMX series, now they come in, um, it's a 2205, they come in 2350 kV, 2633 and 2800 kV. And um, basically I'm just going to tear them apart, have a bit of a look at them, I've got them running on one of my race quads at the moment, and um, yeah, just give you a general look over, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, excuse my messy bench, it's, I've sort of tried to clean up as, as much as possible for you, so excuse me for that. So here is the ZMX motor. Now, I have one of each of the 2800 and the 2633 kV, and I have four of the um, 2350 kV series running on a quad. So... But we'll give you a quick look at them. They're uh, very similar to Cobra, but that is due to change very soon. Let's just get that apart. Have a look at the windings. Bit of a look at the bell. Now, they I believe they are balanced. It's just a black balance goo instead of like the predominant blue that you see in the RCX motors but I, I will double check that. Um, the magnets are nice and thick and they're glued in really well. Now here's one thing that really did excite me and that's the grub screw is a 1.5 millimeter. Now I'll just pause that here for a second. find a 1.5 mil now 1.5 mil grub screw excellent 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 idea I really do love it uh, for multiple reasons now for example I lost the grub screw on this one I generally like gen generally lost it I um, took it out put it down and I lost it however let me lift this up a bit most motors and grub screws for pinions and, and things like that, like even the, the grub screw here on this big fella, is a 1.5 mil. Oh, yay. I am just, I've got drawers of these things lying around. Like, literally, I've got so many 1.5 mil grub screws, it's not funny. So, fixing that is um, nice and easy. <laughs> so, there we go. Got a 1.5 mil grub screw back in there. And they don't strip easy either, so like the 0.9s that you see in the RCX motors, um, they strip fairly easy, so. Okay, now, moving on, next thing I wanted to talk about is probably, well, the bearings for one. Straight off the bat, they're, they're so silky smooth, and even after flying them and crashing them, they're, so, they're still nice and smooth, so they're much higher quality, worth the extra couple of bucks if you're looking for the next step up from uh, from the My RC Mark gear. Definitely, definitely really nice here. Now, um, another thing I should probably mention is bell compatibility. Now... The bells are the same throughout the whole series, only the windings are different and the magnets are all the same. So if I stuff them stuff a bell on, on the uh, on the two three five O, I can take this here bell from a two thousand eight hundred KV and stick it on and it's gonna work. Now in saying that, they also claim cross compatible or backwards compatibility with the My RC Mart. Uh, 2205 so I mean let's just quickly check that now um, so grub I mean yeah you, you should all know how to do this by now 
in a bag with the motor. We'll just pop that off. It comes. It's stuck on the motor there. Okay. Alright, so let's not get mixed up. RCX base. Zenmx base, Zenmx base uh, bell, RCX base, what do you know? Okay, so that fits on there, feels good. Um, oh, sorry about that. Also, uh, Zenmx base, RCX Bell. What do you know? There's a bit of a gap there, but it looks like the magnets are lining up top and bottom. And I can get my E-clip back on there. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I'd say that's a thumbs up for Bell compatibility and backwards compatibility with the, um, the My RC Mart series motors as well. So... That's always handy because you know a lot of people have got an abundance of version 2 bells flying around. Uh, sorry about the um, the break in the video there, I just had one of my cameras fail. So we're um, back up and running with a new camera. So uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is motor maintenance, um, general motor maintenance. So pulling the motor apart, when would you want to do it, why, etc. So. I mean, the first reason, if you're crashing a lot, etc., and you um, you notice that you, this, I've made this play sort of just extremely to sort of show you guys. But if you find yourself having some axial play in the motor like that, it's really not too hard to fix. It's actually quite easy. Um, so what you'll want to do. It's the first thing we need to get this uh, sir clip off. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but hopefully I can show you how to do it. So basically, the idea is to pry apart the sir clip. So, I mean, I don't have the correct tools. You, you can get like sir clip pliers that that might be able to do this, but I'm just using needle noses or. Um, even tweezers, the wifey might get a little bit mad with that one, so. Needle nose pliers. Just decompress it now. You may be able to see there, I've decompressed it to the point where I can see the back side of it. So at this point, I know it's not the greatest method, but um, I'm just gonna see if I can pull this clip off all right yay I got it dodgy ass method but I have a clip I just give that a little bit of a straighten out with the needle nose pliers yep looks good pop that down there got a little spacer here so we'll pop these back in the bag very important not to lose, of course. So, we'll pop them aside and take our motor apart. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do if you've got axial play is loosen off the grub screw, the sexy 1.5mm grub screw. Now in here, you should be able to see the flat spot on the shaft. Now, Dee you okay? This is my daughter. <laughs> now I'll just take this shaft out. Okay. 
So hopefully you can see the see the flat spot on the on the shaft. Hey darling, you okay? <laughs> so we've got the flat spot on the shaft there. Basically, we want that up in the bell for the grub screw to heat into. So um, line that up as best as we can. This is my dodgy method, just tap it on in. Alright, so I've started to see the flat spot show itself where the grub screw is going to go, but it needs to go a bit further. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. We can check that now. Is it going to be enough? Will we get rid of the plague? God no. So it needs to go in a lot more. Doesn't it, Evie? Yeah. Right, that's starting to look pretty damn good. And if I look down the grub screw, I can actually, I can see it, it's pretty well in line there. And it's, um, it's not going to slip or anything. So, um, it seems like I'm not doing much, but we want a pin drop, like only a pin drop like what I've got on here is like enough to probably do all four or five motors for the grub screws so just a dab of that and I might even just take a bit off with my hand so you can really only just see a little bit of blue Loctite on that grub screw and that's all we need you don't need lots just a little bit and away it goes. Okay. Now we'll put our spacer and our circlip back on. Aha. So, I've tapped it too far in and I can no longer get my circlip back on. Oh shit, what do I do? Well, nothing too dramatic. Yeah. Okay, so, shaft has gone in too far. Can't get our circlip on, what do we do? Pull it out a little bit. the tad or of course the other option here is um, is if you've got it to the point where you think you can get your clip on without the spacer and you're not going to have axial play then that's what you're gonna want to go for then so we'll just chuck that on there Um, sorry, in the bag, of course. Get the spacer away. So, because it's... I was able to just push that down over the shaft, but... I mean, I'll check the play first. Alright, so no play in that motor now. And then you just want to compress that clip again so yep oops sorry doing a lot of this off a lot of this off camera but that clip is now being compressed again I don't have any play in my motors goer again so um Yay. Um, 
not really much else I wanted to touch on really. Um, super smooth bearings. My little daughter's running around here, she's having a good time. Um, high quality CNC, there's nothing sharp on it. Um, 1.5mm grub screw, good bearings, lots of power, the thrust tests are out there now, so I'll link Engineer X's thrust data over. And um, yes, go check out these motors, they're like 14 bucks Australian or like $10 US or something, and like, they really are, the, you know, like, quite a few steps up from the, uh, from the Z um, RCX motors, so worth checking out. Um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you.